Good morning guys, I wanted to do a video on like what I brought for makeup because I got lots of questions about that and this is actually the first time I've like had a chance to just sit down and chat with you guys how we usually do, right? So I figured I'd go ahead and share what I brought in my makeup bag and it is literally just a little Ziploc bag because I didn't want to bring like a, a makeup bag, you know, I didn't want any extra weight. I wanted it to be as small and lightweight as possible and I can just roll this up, slip it in my backpack because as you know we're traveling super light just small backpacks, just, you know, Michael and I both have our one small backpack and that's it. Um, and also for clothes, I know um, some people were asking, well, what, what are you going to do for clothes? Because I basically brought just like disposable clothes, like one pair of shorts, like two tank tops, and, and then that's pretty much it. I'm planning on buying all my clothes here as I travel, so I've already actually, already, well, I can't show you, where, well, maybe I can, I don't know, do like a quick outfit of the day or something. So um, I just bought this last night, which is a, uh, it's just like a long, like kind of khaki skirt. It's just like lightweight. Anyway, um, I liked uh, the detail too, because it's um, crocheted, it's all handmade. So I always like my handmade stuff, you know. So, okay, on to the makeup. Um, for eyes, uh, well, first let me tell you, I didn't pack any face makeup because well, I didn't, I, like in Hawaii, I don't even wear a foundation. Like out and about, you know, day to day, I just, I don't wear it because, well, it's hot. And I like my skin to breathe and everything. So what I did was I packed um, mostly just eye makeup and uh, some lip products. And then, uh, well, I can show you what I have worn on my face, which this is basically it. That is all that I've been wearing. This is my Josie Moran um, SPF 40. This is the Argon Daily Moisturizer. So that's the only thing I've been putting on my face for the trip. Um, no blush, no bronzer, didn't pack anything like that. And let's see what else. Okay, for eyes, uh, definitely this. And in fact, since I've been here for uh, you know a few days now, um, I can tell you what was worth packing and what wasn't. So definitely my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And uh, well, this is actually just the regular little mini one. The little mini deluxe size worked out perfect because uh, it's saved on space, there's tons of product in there, and it locks on any eye makeup that you put on, especially, you know, here in the humidity where it tends to melt off. Um, and then for, like, eyeshadow, I just brought this one palette of eyeshadow. This is the Bare Minerals, the Truth Quad, which you guys know I talk about this so much, but I just felt like that was, like, an easy palette to use. You know, all neutrals. And I didn't want to pack like a big palette, like a naked palette or something, because that would just take up too much space. This is super sleek, and you know, it's just it's easy, easy to travel with. So that I'm, I've been super um, happy with. And then for, let's see, also for eyes, um, I have my Urban Decay Perversion 24-7 pencil. So that's the only uh, eyeliner that I brought. And then for mascara, um, I just brought these little deluxe minis, just because I already had these like little sample you know, deluxe sizes. So this is just um, a Lancome Hypnostrama, which actually, I, I don't usually wear Lancome at all, but I do like this mascara. It turned out to be like, really, really nice, so happy with that. And it comes off fairly easily, but it doesn't melt off during the day. Uh, and then YSL, um, the Yves Saint Laurent Faux Sils. And I think that's all, oh wait, no, I do have one other mascara. And I guess I just brought like three little ones. That wasn't necessary, but I just brought them and then I, you know, as I use them, I can throw them out since this trip is three months long. I didn't know how, how long that each of these would last. This one is the Dior x um, yeah. So anyway, that's it for eyes. Um, and then for like brows, I just brought my little Anastasia um, brow powder duo in um, Ash, Ash Blonde, yeah, Ash Blonde Taupe. So working on that. So I'm, I've been happy with pretty much that just for eyes, and I'll just play around with it, keep it really simple. So I haven't been wearing hardly any, any makeup. Um, oh, for concealer, like for under eye concealer, because you know traveling, sometimes you don't get all the sleep that you need, especially like when I rode the train up here. Ooh. I tell you, that was a rough ride. Even though um, I was wearing my, my long yoga pants, I was wearing my long sleeve, like thermal shirt, and had two blankets on me, and I was still freezing. Um, and they, they don't turn down the air conditioning. Everyone on the train was freezing to death. And I didn't find out until after we got here to Chiang Mai that everyone was like, oh yeah, that, that train is like so cold. 
So yeah, we weren't we weren't the only ones. So this is my Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer in Natural. So still using that for under eyes. I'm sorry if the uh, camera coloring changed at all. I don't have it set on manual right now, so it's kind of changing in the light as the sun comes and goes. For lips, uh, I also kept it pretty simple with lips. I just brought three products. Uh, one lip liner, which is Urban Decay Naked, which actually I need to sharpen that. I did bring a sharpener too, since I have um, you know two pencils that I gotta keep up on. Um, this, the Buxom lipstick in Sydney, which actually, this is a product that I'm really happy I brought to, uh, you know, a hot climate because that cooling sensation just feels so good on your lips. So, I brought that. And the other thing that um, I'm really happy that I brought is my MAC lipstick. I just brought one and it's it's almost gone. It's gel and it just gives just a nice, because I didn't want like a lip gloss. I just wanted just like something to be able to like throw on. So that always just gives like a nice you know, subtle kind of dewy sheen to your lips. So I'm super happy that I brought that. And uh, other than that, that's that's it for makeup. Um, the only other like sort of items that I brought is like, you know, my Desert Essence um, Lip Rescue Shea Butter, just my little chopstick. So that's definitely been um, important to have along with, you know, the sunscreen. And then I did bring this, the Acure um, seriously for me in facial serum because I thought, well, I use it as a moisturizer, right? But I haven't needed any kind of moisturizer here. Just just my sunscreen during the day has been perfect. Um, I'd, although when I get to the desert in Rajasthan in India, I may need this. I don't know. But so far, I, I haven't really used it. So it's kind of just taking up extra weight right now. This is a combination. Um, it's my argan oil, but I mixed it with coconut oil before I left, and that's the only thing that I've been using on my hair to kind of like help with frizz and all all that fun stuff. Um, and as for temperature-wise, you know, it is it is hotter here than Hawaii. I mean, it's warmer, but it's not like that bad. It's not like that much of a difference. It's it's a little more humid and a little warmer, but not bad. Um, I think maybe if you were coming here from a colder climate, you know, say London or something else, um, like we met a couple from Ireland and they were like, they were like drenched in sweat. They were just like, oh my God, it is so hot here. But yeah, I, I think like, you know, since we are coming from Hawaii, we we're already kind of used to a lot of humidity in the tropics. So it hasn't been bad at all. Um, I think that is it for makeup. I mean, I brought like my little sharpener and um, I was able to take my nail file on the plane because it's crystal and not a metal nail file, which I don't know, I don't know what their rules are, but I've always traveled with this. And so, you know, for years, so that's never been a problem. Um, tweezers, of course, and my tiny pair of scissors, which I believe that if the scissors were any bigger than the little cuticle size, then it may need to be packed in like, a, uh, excuse me, in a check-in. Um, and yeah, my tweezers, so those, I know I got questions about how I got that stuff on the plane. Yeah, that stuff because it, it's small and the nail file is crystal, it was no problem at all. Um, makeup brushes. I only brought this little bag, the little Ziploc, and I my trick is I face them the opposite way because I just wanted to be able to roll them up really tight and keep them, you know, snagged up in my backpack without taking up the room. So to keep like Ones that I use on dark, in darker colors or a smudge eyeliner, I make them face one way with darker colors. And then the other ones that I use for like, you know, highlights and whatnot or lighter, lighter color eyeshadow, I face the opposite way or like concealer. So that's my little trick for packing makeup brushes, really small and tight. Uh, and then for like shampoo and conditioner, I cannot tell you how handy these little packets have been compared to taking like bottles of stuff, like little, like little three ounce bottles, you know. So I just packed these little samples. Some of these I got at Sally Beauty, of like conditioner, shampoo, and whatnot. Um, yeah, I even have like some little like argon oil in there. So those have been super handy. All right, I think that's everything. Like I said, I don't want to make this video too long because it's it's really hard to publish longer videos here because they fail, and I, it's so frustrating because you'll like you'll be at like 90% published and then it'll fail and then you have to start over and it takes hours to get a video up. So I will go ahead and let you guys go and I will see you in the next one. Bye.